Okay, you're going to need a little handful of tools for this. First things first, you want to try and have your caps labeled, your wires labeled, so that you can put them back in the right place on the cap. And you'll also note that's the number one position as this distributor is installed on the cap here. So we'll make note of that and we'll make sure that we're lining up our terminals <coughs> with the new distributor cap. Wow, that one's tough. Try not to damage the wires. All right. <clears throat> Flip down your spring clip. Pull the cap off. Now remember, your number one position is here. And that position is going to roughly correspond to the... Uh, to this bolt position, the square bolt position on the housing. Took the cap off, take the rotor out. Okay, that's your cap and rotor off. I would characterize this rusty nub as unusual but if you do have a rusty nub like this dressing it gently with a little sandpaper is probably a good idea So our next step is to take off this outer housing. You can use a Phillips for this. Most of the time, these screws are captured. What you're going to note is there's a square side and a rounded side. So this is keyed. You can't put this on the wrong way. Here, grab your adapter plate and see it's keyed as well. And you're going to put that on there. And then you're going to take your two metric cap screws. Start them gently. Then you can roll them in. These should all go in easily by hand. If you find that you're having to put a bunch of force on with the ratchet, 
you probably have it cross threaded. So stop, back out, try again. And this only just needs snugging. Don't go nuts, just a plastic part. Same thing goes for the factory part. It's a plastic part. Don't go nuts. Okay. So there you got your adapter plate on. The next thing, and please don't forget this step, you need to put this rotor spacer on. That's going to bring the rotor up uh, to the correct place, correct place for the contact. Then you're going to drop the rotor in, line it up with that little groove. And you're going to press it down tight against the rotor spacer, just like that. Then you're going to get your new cap. This MSD cap is not labeled. But, it's not labeled, but it has, uh, it has this little fixture on it. So you put it in there, like that, you'll notice that when that's lined up, this is going to be your number one. So if you do it this way, the terminal immediately counterclockwise from that little fitting is going to be your number one terminal. Now this hardware comes with the MSD cap. As usual when you're putting something like this together, start each one. You'll also know you have a little bit of spring pressure here. That's from the center of that uh, rotor. So when you got it started, you'll see there's a little spring pressure on there. That's how you know you got that rotor spacer in and you got it lined up. Now again, you don't need to go nuts on this, just until it stops. Those are brass threaded inserts, but they're installed in a piece of plastic. Just tight enough. There you go. There you got your small cap installed. And you can see you gained yourself quite a bit more clearance around here, which presumably is the objective. All right, then we'll start by putting number one on. And remember, number one, one counterclockwise to this fitting. Your firing order, your firing order is one three seven two six five four eight. So there's one three seven two. Six, five, four, eight, and then we need our coil. The MSD cap comes with a uh, <clears throat> little fixture for the top. You don't need that for this application. All right. 
pick all your tools up and that's the whole install. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos.